Hi, I'm Reginald Bush, and I'm the executive director for the White Plains Community Action Program, located in the Madison House at 70 Ferris Avenue here in White Plains. The White Plains Community Action Program is a program that's under the umbrella of WESCOP. WESCOP has 11 different local community action programs here in Westchester County, and as I mentioned, White Plains is one. Um, and we do uh, uh, products, services for the hard to serve population. So I want to welcome you to White Plains CAP Talks. Today, White Plains CAP Talks will be talking with Tori Thomas. Hi, Tori. How, How are you? you? Doing? I'm fine. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you also. So um, I know that there are some people who um, know of you. There's some that don't know of you. And so today, uh, we want to talk about um, some of the things that you've been doing in White Plains. And, and I'd like to give those individuals who, who don't know who Tory Thomas is <clears throat> uh, a chance to, to meet with him and spend a little time um, talking with him. Uh, so you grew up here in White Plains. Yeah. Um, just tell me a little bit about um, you growing up, where you grew up, and, and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> well, I was born and raised in Ferris Avenue in White Plains. I've been there for all my life. I'm 26 years old, and that's my roots. Everything about me is instilled um, from White Plains. My family, most of my family is from White Plains. My grandma um, was raised in White Plains also. My mother raised on Ferris, and lived on Ferris for 31 years, so mm -hmm. everything that I, you know, have done is from Ferris Avenue and White Plains. I'm going to, I'm going to um, probably shock you because I don't even think you were born, but did you know that your mother used to work for White Plains Cap? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> ask her. Okay, I will. Yeah, she used to work for White Plains Cap. So, so we have had a bonding even before we knew we had a bonding That's through right. your mom. Um, but so now, okay, so you grew up, you grew up on Ferris Avenue. Um, and uh, went through grade school mm -hmm. um, and such. Now, tell us about your high school days because I think mm -hmm. there was a turning point um, before you got to high school and some of the things right. that has, has, has in, it carried you to the point of your success even today. Um, and, so, and so I'd like for you to just tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about what happened before high school okay. and then what happened in high school. All right, before high school, I went to Church Street Elementary School, right on Church Street, right around the corner from Ferris Avenue. Went there from kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade. From there, from Church Street, I went on to White Plains Middle School, the Highlands Campus, because there's two campuses, Highlands and Eastview. Mm -hmm. I went to the Highlands Campus from sixth to eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Great times for me from K through eighth grade, White Plains School Systems, very good school systems. I learned a lot, met a lot of good people. Mm -hmm. But there was a transition after eighth grade where I played in Don Bosco, which is a community center in Port Chester, New York. And I had a great team there, basketball, CYO program, Catholic Youth Organization. Mm -hmm. And I met a family, or the, um, two families, well, the O'Leary family mm -hmm. and the Salvatore family. Mm -hmm. Jimmy O'Leary is one of my close friends from Don Bosco, and Scott Salvatore was one of my close friends who told me about Trinity Catholic in Stanford, Connecticut, you know, Trinity Catholic High School, which mm -hmm. is in Stanford, Connecticut, a private Catholic school. Mm -hmm. And I looked to transition to go there. So it was a big deal for me because I was going to enter ninth grade. All my friends, everybody was going to White Plains High School. White Plains High School was a huge school, I want to say, about when I was going to go there, about 2,000, 2,500 kids wow. going to that school. So it was a big deal to go to White Plains, play for the White Plains varsity, mm -hmm. and go to the county center. It was just dreams that you have as a kid. But I ended up going the other route and going to Trinity Catholic, taking them up on that offer, taking the entrance exam, passing, and then finally receiving you know, a scholarship to go to Trinity Catholic in Stanford. And that was probably one of the best decisions I could have made in my life because it really instilled in me that I can be my own leader. I can listen to my own you know, advice. My mother was my support, but she didn't make a decision. She didn't say, you have to go to White Plains or you have to go to Trinity. She left that decision up to me and what was best for me moving forward. And to this day, that's my still number one decision on why, you know, I have had so much success is 
making that transition in eighth grade when kids will tell you you should do this or you should do that, peer pressure. I didn't succumb to any of the peer pressure. And Trinity Catholic has been great for me four years up there uh -huh. in Stanford. Uh -huh. And that really set myself up to go to college and now go after college, play professional basketball. So I, I got to believe that there were probably some people you, you mentioned that, you know, uh, just, uh, you didn't succumb to some of the peer pressure. Yeah. But I suspect that there was probably some not peers, uh, some adults right. that were not probably happy with that decision. Yes. Um, obviously, when you as you move forward in athletics, right. um, it becomes more and more competitive, but it also becomes more um, attentive to some of the adult world, That's right? Very so, true. so I can imagine that um, there were, were some people that weren't happy with you not going to White Plains High. Would that be? That, uh, that's very accurate. I believe that um, coaches, you know, coaches and from freshmen onto uh, the varsity level, said that, well, you need to come here. They even called the house, said, oh well, you know, Tory, you know, has a great opportunity at White Plains. All his friends and family he has a good support over here. So why is he going to Trinity? He doesn't know anybody. And you know what? Ultimately, I felt that I needed a, a structured environment. 2,500 kids compared to 450 mm -hmm. is a big difference. That means one, you know, every teacher mm -hmm. to 15 kids, mm -hmm. great one-on-one -on -one attention, credited um, school at Trinity. And I was going to set myself up to you know, pass and take the SATs, get a high, good score enough to qualify. And my GPA was high enough to go to whatever, you know, mostly mainly all the schools that I was looking to apply to. And it would have been no issue where I knew that my mother did not have enough money to send me to school. You know, college was at that time $42,000 per year at Holy Cross where I went <coughs> in Massachusetts. And that decision set me up to get that scholarship. Hmm. Mm. So, so, so you, uh, out of what sounds like an early age, sort of put your mind to setting a path for yourself, goals and objectives, um, that you wanted to go on to college. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you graduate from 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 high school, and 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 you, and you, you got some money to go mm -hmm. to college. I believe you got a little more than money yes. to go, right? You got, you got, you got sort Full of free scholarship. Ride, yes. Right. Um, and to play basketball right. for Holy Cross. Yes. And now, for those that don't know, where is Holy Cross at? You know, Worcester, Massachusetts, which is right outside of Boston, 45 mm -hmm. minutes outside of Boston, mm -hmm. Massachusetts. So mm -hmm. uh, about two and a half hours from White Plains. Mm -hmm. So it's a mm -hmm. nice ride. Mm -hmm. um, easy to get to right off of 684. Mm -hmm. uh, you could go several ways, but nice ride. Up, up to, 91? Up 91. <laughs> yes, yes. Plenty yeah. of ways. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of ways to get there. So, so I was... Um, I've seen a couple of posters and such, you know, with, with you uh, dressed with Holy Cross. So tell us a little bit about your experience at Holy Cross, um, and then we'll get to what you're currently doing. Well, Holy Cross is an unbelievable experience because I got the best of both worlds, uh, prestigious academic institution and also the basketball 100, top 100 program in Street and Smith, which is a big time <clears throat> magazine that tells all about college basketball. Mm -hmm. We have Hall of Famers, NBA and college Hall of Famers of you know, Bob Cousy, Tom Heinsohn, Togo really? Palazzi, yes, that played in the NBA, Jack DeShot Foley. See, I, I'm big on history too, so when I know about that, they, from them years, they dropped off on the national level of, of basketball, mm -hmm. and they rose their <coughs> academics very high. Mm -hmm. But the basketball level, we call the mid-major D1, which mm -hmm. is right under the majors, and we had a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. Um, mm -hmm. I did well. I, academically, I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and Pre-Law. Mm. So uh, I got my degree. Mm -hmm. um, Holy Cross, I was really like running the town, the Worcester town, knew who Tory <laughs> Thomas was, not only on campus, but off campus. Mm -hmm. I would do a lot of different charity works. I would deal with different kids. If people are not familiar with the Worcester area, it is definitely a big inner city area. Where is it? It's deprived, it's impoverished. Yes, it is. And mm. And for Holy Cross, isn't it like almost like on the hill because it's on the top of the hill mm -hmm. in a gated type of community mm -hmm. where you can be on the hill and be safe. You get off that hill, anything can happen because mm -hmm. that's the type of city it is. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be in that city. I wanted to make sure they knew that 
all right, they can come to games. I will give tickets out. I will make sure they understand. We'll have the Big Big Brothers Association where you go and mentor a young kid in the city. Mm -hmm. And to this day, after years, for about four years, I've graduated, and I can still go back and, and kids remember me. You were recently there, um, I believe, uh, when you when you came mm -hmm. back, uh, you went for something, right? Yes, I went to go speak at the camp. They have an uh, annual basketball camp. Malon Brown is the head coach right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's the head coach of the Holy Cross men's basketball team. He mm -hmm. invited me up to speak at the camp. Mm -hmm. At least, I want to say, 300 kids, 400 wow. kids I get to talk to and, and for about an hour, talk, demonstrate drills, let them know about my story, mm -hmm. where, I, where I was, where I come from, and that this is a special place to be at. Holy Cross is special because it has a lot of history, a lot of tradition. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, okay, so, so, so you do this four years at, at Holy Cross, and um, and you, you, you walk across the stage and you yeah. get your degree. And so, and so what happens then? And was, and, and, and was there at, at that time, because I'm getting the sense that, that, that from a very early age, you had some calculations in your head as to what it was you want to be when Tory Thomas right. becomes the adult Tory, Tory Thomas. Yes. So, so, so tell us about you know what was in your head and, right. and 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 you know was there was there sort of this goal that you were setting yourself to to mm -hmm. to obtain um, because it certainly seems like you went from I'm not going to go to White Plains High School I'm going to have a better opportunity financially for my mother's sake to get into college I'm going to have a better opportunity at going someplace else doing well and that's going to set the stage up for college which it seems like it did and and now you're in college and now you now now you you've graduated so so it, was there a plan and goals objectives of what you're trying to get to yeah um definitely had a plan like i said since eighth grade when i realized that basketball can take you many <clears throat> places opportunities can be opened up if you become you know smart diligent and mm -hmm. persistent in what you do hard work was always something that i really pride myself on and mm -hmm. I set myself up because I had goals and you know what you touched on is I really wanted to become somebody of good stature good I wanted to be successful no matter what I did and the goals are is I wanted to become a lawyer mm -hmm. I wanted to become maybe a psychologist sports psychologist so I had different avenues that I used and why when people say well what made you study sociology well sociology is the study of all human behaviors mm -hmm. that's what this that's what sociology stands for so it's about knowing people, knowing situations, environments, how to adapt. It's knowing all that. And when you're dealing with people, that's the best way to be, mm -hmm. is learning about that. Mm -hmm. For four years, I learned about how to deal with people, different situations, with mm -hmm. law. So those are keys to me. But I also knew that I knew more schooling to go to. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, if when that chapter comes in my life, I know that I will have to do that. Uh -huh. But I also knew that basketball was still a very major part of my life, and I still had a lot of basketball left. Uh -huh. So my goal was to make it to the NBA, uh -huh. and if not the NBA, play professional basketball. The NBA is not the end-all, be-all. They have professional basketball leagues in Europe, and Australia, and Asia, and South America. You know? uh -huh. and Europe uh -huh. is a big deal because a lot of people are, it's accredited. You know what mm. I mean by accredited European um, basketball is big because the Europeans come over and play in the NBA. Ah, okay. And European has many countries that are top leagues, mm -hmm. like the Spains, the mm -hmm. Italy's, the Russia's, the mm -hmm. Israel's, the Turkey's, the Germany's, the Polish. Mm -hmm. Different countries have big leagues. Mm. You know, the Netherlands. It's, it's many different leagues in Europe, and I've had a chance to complete four years of playing basketball in Europe and mm -hmm. one short stint in the summer playing in Venezuela. Mm, wow. And the goals that I had when mm -hmm. I was a young kid was to really be somebody that was going to go to the top, whatever the case may be, whatever mm -hmm. I was going to do, mm -hmm. I wanted to be at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. And in the aspect of the academics, mm -hmm. I wanted to be maybe like I told you, a, a lawyer, sports psychologist, mm -hmm. a professor, any of those nature. But my basketball right now is what I'm doing, and that's my occupation. 
I wake up every morning. That's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. do that until I cannot. Mm -hmm. With myself, I know I have my degree. Mm -hmm. Keep my network and connections, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and make sure that I, you know, follow through. Well, and that's 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 key, I think, Tori, because because I hear um, and see a lot of young uh, young folks <clears throat> who say, you know, I'm I'm nice in basketball. I I. I you know, this is going to be what I'm going to be when I grow up. You know, I'm going to go to the NBA and that kind of stuff. And let's face it, um, um, there's very few people that make it into the NBA. I mean, when you look at the draft every year, you know, I don't know how many there is, but there certainly, you know, aren't hundreds of thousands of, you know, of, of people that are entering into the NBA. I mean, even to some degree... Um, in the European League, maybe it's a little more um, flexible mm -hmm. with with the number of people that are able to enter. But I always try to tell young folks that 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 has that, and not just with with basketball, but sometimes we hear young people talk about you know getting into the music business, rapping, and that kind of thing. That that's fine if that's what you want to pursue. But make sure that you get your college education. Make sure you get your degree because you never know what may happen because you know. So you're you're at the top of your game in basketball, and not you, and God forbid this, but but you get hurt, mm -hmm. you know. Now you're hurt, and maybe it's a an, an injury that you 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 know you're not going to be able to to ever overcome, right? Mm -hmm. So now what do you do, you know, if you don't have a college degree to fall back on and those networking kinds of things? So that's why young folks out there that that might be listening, you know, please please you know, study get your get your degree. But but so now let's let's move on. So now you're 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 out of uh, uh, Holy Cross and you go to Europe and you said you've played for four different no, places. Four years. Four years. Okay, four years. Um, and I was doing a little research on you. Um, um, if you Google Tori Thomas, you get like pages of stuff. <laughs> so so so. Um, and 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 by the way, White Plains, we 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 ought to. We ought to know that um, we we've got a celebrity here in in, in Tory Thomas um, mm -hmm. because he is in his own right. So, but anyway, so I understand that uh, you were at the top of your game last year or this this season, this past season, um, then did very well and uh, actually was selected as the MVP. Yes, MVP. So you know, like going back to tell you where I have played in, mm -hmm. I have played in Sweden, mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. Turkey. The Netherlands, which is also known as Holland, for two years, and mm -hmm. Poland. Those are the teams that I played in. So, so is that is that difficult um, to play in those markets? Because um, my guess in Sweden, most a lot of the people I, you know speak um, English. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know, for example, in Italy, I've been to Italy. <clears throat> you know, not everyone talks English. So, is that a is that a barrier for you coming from 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 White Plains? New York, mm -hmm. the United States of America, right. going to these places with with teammates, with coaches, with that kind of, I mean, how is that? Oh, that's definitely a barrier because uh, communication is essential. It's the key to everything, communication on the basketball court, communication off the basketball court. But it's not something that is going to hinder you if you're not going to let it. Mm -hmm. You can try to pick up on the language. You can mm -hmm. take classes. You can have a translator, which all, all teams have a manager that speaks fluent English. So mm -hmm. they can help you with that. Oh, okay. And people in shops speak English or you can, a lot of sign language pointing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. making sure that you <laughs> get the job done. So I wouldn't let the language barrier. It is a barrier. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but right. it's not something that's going to, you know, hold you back from going over there and, and having a great experience. So I ended up getting, yes, the MVP of the Polish league this season. Nice. And the top league in Poland. Thank you. Yeah. And that has set me up to mm -hmm. take uh, a job in Russia this uh, Russia. Yeah, so I'm off to Russia this this next So season. soon so 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 by the time you see this show, um, my good friend Tori will have gotten on a plane and and, and did uh, eighteen hours to, right. to to the corner of Russia. Is right. that right? That's that's true. Are you excited? I'm very excited. It's a different experience. I've learned about many different cultures, and I'll get a chance to learn about the Russian culture, Russian uh, whole ethnicity, uh, the mm -hmm. whole country. I'll mm -hmm. get to see because, like you said, it's an eighteen hour plane ride. I go from JFK to Moscow, Moscow to Vladivostok. 
Wow. A lot of blue stock is on the corner, like you said, mm -hmm. of Russia, the tip of Russia, yeah. right next to China, yeah. and one ferry away from Japan. So wow, I'm literally nice. going to be 15 hours ahead of New York. I'm time coming to visit. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming You're to visit. Welcome. I've been, I've been, I've been to Europe several times, but I've not been to Russia, so yes. I might have to take up, take you up on this offer since you'll be there, uh, and 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 it'll be my opportunity to, to visit Russia. Well, that's that's yeah. great. Congratulations, and Thank we you. we wish you all the luck um, there. And um, you know, uh, I know that you and I are going to stay in in, in contact uh, while you're away. Um, so so, but let me also turn these last few minutes um, to the attention of, of what you've been doing since you've been here. Um, and uh, and you're wearing this thing, that New York Blaze. Right. So, so tell us tell us what New York Blaze is and, and, and what that's all about. Our New York Blaze Athletic Club is a program based on youth from 8 to about 18 years old. Mm -hmm. We are a non-for-profit organization. 501c3 mm. that caters to kids in um, white we in White Plains based out of White Plains on Gardella Park Ferris Avenue because that's where I'm born and raised but we have kids from all over mm -hmm. all over the tri-state area wherever you come from we accept them all mm -hmm. but we have a program to mm -hmm. promote the betterment of these young individuals. We use <coughs> basketball as the tool mm -hmm. that we use because basketball is my passion, and a lot of kids really view basketball as something major. So mm -hmm. they that, that tool enables them to give them opportunities, and we we go by the motto of life skills through sport. Mm -hmm. We want to deal with life skills. That means homework assistance. Mm -hmm. That means that you know how to use a computer, know mm -hmm. how to use Microsoft Word. How do you type a book report up? Mm -hmm. How do you go into the library and search for books. How mm -hmm. do you search for botanicas and, and encyclopedias mm -hmm. that you need to finish projects, doing research, things of that, going camping, mm -hmm. not just basketball, mm -hmm. learning how to do certain skills that you need for everyday life, mm -hmm. simple things that can get you by, mm -hmm. and basketball is used. So life skills through sport, New York Blaze, athletic club we have a, a good surrounding mm -hmm. we have an annual basketball tournament for high school kids which is called the new york blaze invitational tournament mm -hmm. which was sponsored with white plains cap this year the first time mm -hmm. and it was just a beautiful event mm -hmm. it's a we were three glad day to do that yes it was it, people really um enjoyed the event mm -hmm. white plains cap was proud of the event because they got to see an event put on mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they felt that that their sponsorship went to a good cause. Well, it absolutely was. Um, you know, prior to me personally meeting you one on one, we conversated quite a bit uh, through email across the pond to you, and um, and and it became very clear that this program um, of the New York Blaze was something that that you and I shared a common interest in. You know, it's helping the youth on Ferris Avenue, but not just Ferris Avenue. Certainly. Ferris Avenue being the the foundation and the base, but spreading that across, um, you know, Westchester uh, County, um, to have these young folks come and participate in basketball, but also do some other things. This life skills stuff, where um, the White Plains Camp, um, again located at 70 Ferris Avenue, is going to um, be helping you with while you're not here. Um, with coming to our computer lab, which we have, and helping the young folks with book reports and library. Um, I've, I've, I've got a collaboration going on now with White Plains Library um, that's also going to help this whole life skills thing yeah. that, that New York Blaze um, um, has been doing for the last five years. Um, and so we are just very excited about um, partnering and helping you take the New York Blaze program to 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 its next level, um, and that next year when 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 this program happens, that we'll be able from some of the stuff that we've done with New York Blaze and White Plains Cap, and just happens to be that the two of us are the leaders of those respective organizations. But that yeah. that 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 we'll be able to go out and solicit some some additional. Um, 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 sponsorships and that kind of stuff to to take it to even a, a higher level. So I just think that's 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 fantastic, um, and and again, particularly with uh, with um, the uh, life skills thing. <clears throat> 
So we're, we're really about to come to uh, the end of, uh, of, of, ch of chatting here, um, but um, is, there, is there anything that um, you'd like to say to um, some of the youth, some of the people here in White Plains, um, as again, uh, when, when, when you, and, and by the way, <clears throat> the one thing that is very um, honorable about Tory is, you know, he doesn't just get in his car or have car service and going up and down Ferris Avenue and in, in White Plains. I mean, um, he picked me up to come over here. Um, and, you know, so he does drive and, and you know, that's a nice car, but he's, he still drives. But, uh, you know, it's the, and then he walks up and down Ferris Avenue and just very um, stops and talks to people and that kind of stuff. And just very, it's very admirable, actually. So, so, and somebody who obviously could have a head that's... Um, has seemed to keep his foot footing on the ground, on level ground, and it's so again, it's very admirable and very. Yeah. But but is there is there anything that you would like to say to some of the folks here in White Plains or the children, yeah. you know, the, the young folks? Yes, I definitely want to say something. I, w I do want to say that I'm proud of White Plains. Proud that they have built up the city. The city is very nice. A lot of nice buildings. Nice. Um, New things, Mamaroneck Avenue is live. Uh, they have the the whole ambiance of White Plains have since I was young has mm -hmm. grown into a magnificent place. Mm -hmm. But there's a disclaimer in that mm -hmm. the kids, the youth need help, mm -hmm. and the Blaze is the one part of the program that can try to provide that help. Mm -hmm. But we need we need some of these uh, people in White Plains that care about their city, that want the city to be, you know, built up all the way through mm -hmm. a 360 circle. Mm -hmm. We need help. Okay. Blaze needs help. Blaze needs the people to come in. It's not always monetary funds. It's not all about money, sponsorship, mm -hmm. help, a lending hand. Mm -hmm. Anything we'll do, we take all type of help, all type of good help, are okay. willing to help the kids. And I just want to let everybody know that White Plains is a place that is a very good place to live, very good place to be. Okay. So... Unfortunately, we've come to, to the end of our time, but this certainly has been great uh, talking with you. Good luck to you in, Thank you, in Russia, and uh, we'll see you around Ferris Avenue. All right, Thank definitely. you very much. I'm Reginald Bush.